Welcome to our tutorial about the RIP tool. Let's start by creating a new file. A standard part in millimeters. OK. Let's create a profile now. And exit our sketch. Take an isometric view. Activate the extrude command. Surface output. Let's make our distance 40 millimeters. And click OK. Let's activate the Thicken tool now. Use the Quilt option. Select our feature. One millimeter distance is fine. And click OK. Now let's hide our surface. Right click, Visibility. And let's convert it to sheet metal. Click Convert to Sheet Metal. We get a warning though. For proper unfolding, the model should have uniform thickness equal to the model parameter thickness. Click OK. Let's double click on the Thicken feature. From the Distance drop down menu, we'll opt to list the parameters. Select Thickness and delete the one millimeter annotation there. Click OK. Now let's apply the bend tool. First we'll select the first corner. Bend radius, let's multiply it by six and click apply. Second corner, apply. Third corner, apply. And fourth corner, apply. OK, now we're ready to activate the rip tool. Under RIP Type, we've got three options, Single Point, Point to Point, and Face Extents. Let's try Face Extents first. We'll select this face, and click OK. As you see, the RIP tool has removed our selected face. Let's check it out as a flat pattern. Looks good. Let's fold it up. And let's get rid of RIP 1, right-click, Delete. And let's create a sketch on this face. We'll drop a couple points here. One point, and here is our second point. Exit the sketch. Let's activate the RIP tool again. Let's look at the single point RIP type now. First we select the face to RIP, and then we select the sketch point. If I try to select this point down here, as you see I'm not able to. Let's select the point up above. There's a preview of what the rip will look like at that sketch point. Let's make it a little wider by multiplying the gap size by 4. And click OK. All right, let's undo that rip and try the next rip type. The last option we'll be looking at in this chapter is point to point. First, we select the rip face. Let's select the same face we did previously. Then we select the start point. Now we select the end point. If I try to select this point, you see that again I'm not able to. Let's select this one instead, and here's a preview of our rip. Let's make the rip a little bit wider, multiplying the gap size by 10. There's our updated preview. We have the option to flip the side or to use both sides equally. Let's click OK, and here is our rip feature. Let's pan our feature a little bit so I can better see what's going on. And this concludes our tutorial about the rip command.